Mm, I feel a lot, a lot is resting on Loader, and he is certainly getting the fire to back it up. Cheshire Cat in the tree line. Loader, he didn't quite see him there. There's... Is they're going to be able to fight here? TP in from No Fear. He's got a Fisher to set this up. There's your Chronosphere to catch Ditchera, the sniper. As he TPs in, a nice Fisher though. It's going to hold them back. Can they even bring down? There's the time lock. There's the Hex from Line. They find the big kill. They find the sniper. Line looks like he will pay with his life. The Dukes, they're trying to come out, but No Fear with the final punch. It is a one for one. Cheshire Cat getting fairly low. Ake has already used the Dukes. Isn't going to be able to throw anything out on top of that. And Loader as well might be able to find a tower here. So, all in all, a very nice bit of action there for Alliance, only losing the line. Uh, meanwhile, Clockwork almost gets his level 6, so they're going to take the tower, and with the troll and the chen, this is what, you, what you're what you looking for. Oh. Yeah, so we're almost going to wait until the Chrono is back before he goes in for round 2 on Cheshire Cat, and Cheshire Cat has got no fear hanging around, but <laughs> yeah, okay, with these creeps, sending them in, zoning out the Earthshaker. But, uh, I mean, the Void is a hero. That we haven't seen that much recently. He used to be flavor of the month. Everyone was picking him. They were fitting him into their lineups left, right, center. They'd get him in the carry, throw him in the off lane. Hell, they'd just get him stacking ancients if it meant that they could get a void in their team. Why, why is he just not as popular now, LD? We did, we, what, what, what happened to the void? The love for void? Well, he's very. Oh, hold that thought. Alliance are smoked up here top. Ooh. Looks like Ake wants to make a move. And now bottom. Oh, there's a Chrono. Catches out Cheshire Cat. Troll ultimate was just used and looks like he's going to be able to bash him down skewers, but he brings the Void with him. Does he get the kill yet? Needs one more smack. Maybe two. Uh, uh, still can't get him. <laughs> Finally. Man, they had to work for that kill. Meanwhile, in the top lane, they, they did get the kill the Earthshaker. Hookshot was used and we will see a smoke here from Alliance. Three heroes bundled up. Where do they want to go? Well, they're going to wrap around the mid. J4 at the moment, he's a bit far out. Was looking to find level 6. He's got the level 6 online. But no, it looks like they're going to uh, yeah, put their attentions to the top lane. Trying to catch out Cheshire Cat. They can sense. And obviously after the brown boots and bot, he's working towards that blink dagger. He's still a fair way off it. Only 900 gold in the bank. This could be a very, very dead magnus. He has got RP, but I don't think he's going to be able to turn this gank round. There's your hex. Going to be timed perfectly with the earth spike. There's your stun from the centaur. The finger thrown in there as well. Can Zara find the initiation with the Omni Slash? But the cogs coming just as Zara was casting the ultimate. And I think Alliance might get out of this one. I will stay at the top of that net worth chart and zips in, picks the kill up for himself there. <laughs> uh, Pi Pycat kind of scooped up the Magnus kill earlier, I believe, so yeah, Loda load just getting yeah. even. <laughs> He's got Chrono. They may go on Cheshire Cat as well. Oh, top lane, top. there's a yeah. skirmish brewing. Is he going to TP out in time? I think he will. No, he doesn't! J4 doesn't get out! Oh, Hand of God, it's not enough to save the clockwork, and it's certainly not going to be enough to save Ake if Zara gets in range. There's the slow from the skewer. Ake getting body blocked out by the big old horse. Spend your There's gold. There's your shockwave. Nah, no, oh, spend double anything. kill for Zara. That is not something you want to be giving away. No, they're not going to come back and do something. He might take a tier two as well. As Loda will get the tower tonight, and then they pause <laughs> just to rub it in. <laughs> Man, oh. Uh... Looks like we're having some lag, but, <sighs> but my real question is, who's going to micro mad here? Is this is this Ake just playing one X? Is this just oh, another yeah, creep for him? <laughs> I think it is, yeah. <laughs> it looks like it is. He's kind of keeping them nearby. I got you, buddy. Big, big, big. Who's going to go first? Loader. Getting assassinated. They want to know that they can see him. There we go. There's your hookshot. Cogs trying to break up the fight. Going to make it very up. The PL's coming. Look at that. Oh, it's a beautiful chrono. J4's going to go down. Ditcherar's going to go down. Cheshire Cat, he might go down here as well as the bash is coming through. It's a double kill for Loda. Zara trying to spin away. No one's died on the side of Alliance. Hookshot in from Nequa. Slow as well. The damage coming in. Bajka with a double kill. Even though he's halfway down the road to the internet cafe. Alliance, what a team fight for them. And I think a lot of it was down to those cogs or not no there they go they pop the dire structure fortification they're pushing down the mid there's a fortification of for lights there's your chrono but look at this zari got the blade fury off first and that's actually put loader off trying to fight on the back lines magica ake and nico they found ditchera who's uh been the shallow graved up he's still alive the sniper's not dead there we go nico breaks back into the cogs to smash him down with his spanner ake hands of god it's not going to save him this time and there's going to be a pause unfortunately but already 
Mighty Alliance on the back foot. And in the fight. meanwhile, guess who didn't come back to base? It's Pycat top lane. He's already oh. muscled down the tier three. He's got another double oh. damage rune. He's had three oh, double damage runes this game. See, the Domino's over here is very expensive. It's For a large pizza, it's about the equivalent of $32, which is probably more than you guys pay. So. Is it really? Is it considered? Don't see up. Fight continues mid. Looks like we're on pause as Loda will jump in, try to avoid any TPs. Pycat will go to the top racks. He's going to bring him down too. There is a buyback for the sniper. Can they hold the line? They have their Omni Slash ready. Maybe they can bring down Pycat twice. They want to save the Omni for round two, but I don't know if they'll be able to kill him without it. They get him once. He's got the BKB, but no teleport scroll. And this is going to be a double death for troll, perhaps. Omni Slash following through. They get the job done. See you later, Pycat. But. They're hanging around. Look, let's see if Alliance go a bit more aggressive. Now they've got the full roster. And there we go. There's the defensive weave preparing the side of PR for the fight. The creeps come in. They're going to trap up Ditcher off. Do Alliance want to chase into this? Yes, they do. Magica says we're going in. Oh, there's going to be a Chronosphere, but only catches the Earthshaker's shallow grave anyway. So it's a little bit wasted. Omni Slash is flying through them all, but it only catches the Chen and creeps. There's your hooks onto Cheshire Cat. Sniper's going to be the first catch. Magica does go down and return. Cheshire Cat screwing Nikwa away from the fight. Let's go back to the main fight. Luda, he's getting very, very low. He's going to be able to survive. Zara is going to try TP out. He won't make it as the stuns come through from Ake. The micro is there. The bashes. It was in fact what stopped that with Pycat. And it's a four for one trade. And Void Loader somehow escapes Heldy. That's a dieback on the sniper. No buyback available. And this could be it. After all that pause hype, <laughs> it may be straight down the middle lane. Loda. Let's see, what's he gonna buy here? He's got maybe an Oblivion Step, perhaps they have a pressure coming, but it may not even be needed. OD, they've got the troll ulti. There's no glyph, this is two, if not three lanes of racks. Only the jug, Earthshaker with buyback. They're gonna sacrifice a second, but, well, from here. How do you come back? This, the only way they come back is if this game goes like 200 minutes, it feels, at this point, so. <laughs> Oh, hey, come on, don't bait Hope it. Shot, shot in for Nikwa, yeah. Straight out to J4. There's the weave catching, no fear, and J4 gonna buff them up for a bit. He's gonna be able to survive, actually. The buyback from Jug trying to come in. Tier 3 on the bottom lane is taken down. The creeps on the top lane might just finish off the range racks on their own if there's no response because the fight's going on down here. Chronosphere catching out the Earthshaker, catching out the Juggernaut. I think this has got to be game. Zara goes down. The diebacks are real. Into the Tier 3 is onto the racks. Alliance! take the first game after some very unfortunate pauses but i think at least to make it a bit sweeter for pr alliance always looked like they're in a position to take that game didn't they yeah that would have that would have taken some throws um no throws were forthcoming really good decision making i have to say by podcast especially that push top very well done and oh sticks around yeah he dies there that was his only death of the game but he secures the racks and